Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lecture series in Gate in Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about A star search, right? So in the previous lecture, uh, we have started the informed search techniques. In that, we have discussed about greedy based first search algorithm. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about A star search algorithm. Okay. If you remember from the last video, this informed search is also known as heuristic search, right? Inform search we also call as heuristic search right so based on the ev evaluation function value right so based on evaluation function that is f of n value we explore the further node that is we'll take the minimum a for n value of a particular node and we and we try to explore that particular node right first we check which node is having the minimum a for n value and then we explore that particular node right right so what is this evaluation function f of n so evaluation function f of n is basically a h of n that is heuristic function okay that is heuristic value of a particular node so this is in the case of greedy best first search algorithm now right now same evaluation function f of n is equals to g of n plus h of n right now but h of n is basically a heuristic function right but what is g of n g of n is basically a, a cumulative cost cumulative uh, path cost from a root node to node n right so this is basically a community cost so we use this community cost in the case of uniform cost search that is uninformed search technique right but in the case of a star search algorithm we are using f of n equals to g of n plus h of n so based on this particular f of n value which is this addition of g of n plus h of n we explore the node right that is that is which node is having the minimum f of n value right so we use this evaluation function in the case of a star search algorithm right so please so please uh, note this important point in the case of greedy based first search our evaluation function is equals to h of n that is heuristic function in the case of a star search our evaluation function is equals to summation of g of n plus h of n right so what is this heuristic function we have discussed in the previous uh, lecture you can watch that lecture okay now how this particular a star search algorithm works right so based on these two uh, function how this works right now let us discuss one example suppose this is our tree right like this this is like this okay now suppose this is my starting point this is my goal node right g and this is say a b c d e f right and the path cost is 1 2 3 4 2 1 2 3 okay like this and we have heuristic value right so we have h of n value okay it is heuristic value now in this case we are considering h of n value as a straight line distance like we have discussed h of n value can be a straight line distance right from the particular node to a goal node or it can be a manhattan distance right or it can be any distance which will be or it can be any value which will be given to us in our quotient right now in this case uh, let us assume like from a to g we have from a to g we have suppose six unit from c to g suppose we have four unit from d to g we have heuristic function say three unit right from b to g say for example we have a seven uh, unit right from e sorry from e to g from e to g we have say two unit and from which one is remaining from f to g we have for example uh, three unit right so this is the Evaluate. So, this is heuristic function of each and every node uh, from the uh, goal node, right, to the goal node, right. So, this is h of n value given to us and this search space is given to us, right. This is search space or state space. This is given to us, right. Now, in the case of greedy based first search algorithm, GBFS, right, greedy based first search algorithm, what we do? 
first we try to explore this particular node right this is open list and this is closed list okay so what is open what is closed we have discussed open is basically sometimes we call as a frontier also right so basically these are the nodes which are going to explore next and closed node is basically explored node right so we already explore this particular uh, node we add in this particular list right now open frontier so first is s right in the case of uh, greedy based first search from s i can go to a and b but in the case of greedy based first search algorithm our evaluation function is f of n equals to h of n only we do not consider the path uh, value given to us we only consider the heuristic value given to us based from the particular node right now from a to g and from b to g which one is the uh, which which node is having the lowest cost so a to g is 6 and here b to g is 7 so a to g is having the uh, lowest heuristic cost so we'll go for a right so we'll we have already explored this particular s so we'll go for a right we'll add in this particular close and we'll go for a and b so in this case a value is g and sorry 6 and b value is 7 so we'll again explore a right but from a i can go to but from a i can go to c and d right so i already explored a a here now what is the heuristic value of c to g and d to g in this case so c to g is 4 and c value is 4 and g and d value is 3 now in this case which one is having the minimum uh, heuristic value d right then we explore d now from d i can go to g but at what cost at a cost of 3 again at a cost of 3 right so here our next node will be g right so once we added g in the frontier so that will be our path s a d g right so that is based on the heuristic value only now in the case of now in the case of a star search algorithm what happens we also consider the cumulative cost of a particular node from a root node and along with the heuristic value this h of n now how this algorithm will work in the case of a star search right so we have starting from s right from s to a i can go at a one particular unit and from s to b i can go at the, i can go at a cost of 3 right but we have to consider h of n also but a to g i can go from 6 but a to g i can go at a 6 unit and b to g i can go at a uh, say 7 unit right so in the my open list for example is open and this is closed right now open first i have added yes right so we already explored so we'll add in the closest uh, explore node close list then from s i can go to a and b but the value of a and b here is 1 plus 6 that is 7 the value of b will be 3 plus b to g is 3 uh, 7 that is 10 then which one is having the lowest value a node right then we'll explore a node right at the cost of one now from a i can go to c and d right but what is cumulative cost here for c 1 plus 2 that is 3 and from c i can go to g at a cost of 4 so the cost of c that is evaluation function f of n value will be cumulative cost 1 plus 2 that is 3 3 plus heuristic cost that is 4 that is 7 right so that is c having the value of 7 so you already explored a we are adding in the close list right but from but from a i can go to d also but at what cost it's cumulative cost 1 plus 4 that is 5 this is 5 at a cost of 5 we reach 2d and from d to g it will take me 3 units so d to g that is 8 5 plus 3 8 now which one is having the lowest cost c here right now we'll explore c we'll explore c okay we'll explore c but from c i can go to any other path no right so we explore c but we cannot explore furthermore then i can go to d from d and among b and d which one is having the lowest cost d right so i will explore d then from a then i will go to d right at a cost of 4 and here it is the total cost of community cost of 5 and total cost is 8 right but from d i can go to g at what cost and one point to note that this value the value of particular g that is goal state the heuristic value is 0 right so heuristic value of this particular goal state is 0 this is important point that's what we are discussing in the last session the heuristic value of a goal state is 0 right now the moment i have reached d from d i can go to g right so i have explored d i can go to g right 
So moment we add the G in the open list, so we can directly register uh, our particular goal, right? So this is what the path is, right? So in this case, we directly consider the heuristic value. In the case of uh, greedy base first search, in the case of A star search, we also consider the cumulative cost. That is, if I want to go to this particular E, what I will do? 3 plus 2, that is 5. And from E to G, how much cost is? It is 2, that is 7. Right? But in the case of uh, greedy base first search, we are, we are only considering the cost of 2. Right? Not this cumulative cost. So, I hope you understand this particular example. We will come up with a few examples to uh, discuss right in the form of tutorials so don't worry about it we'll discuss few examples based on greedy base for search also and a star search also based on the uh, in the tutorials okay so i hope you understand this particular example now this is what we have discussed up till now the a star search combines the cost to reach a node g of n and the estimate cost to reach the goal from the node h of n to evaluate the nodes using the formula f of n equals to g of n plus h of n. So, this is what we have discussed, important point. The value of f of n represents the estimate cost of the cheapest solution passing through the node n. Yes, a star search aims to find cheapest solution by prioritizing the node with the lowest f of n values. A star search is both complete, it is complete, yes, definitely complete, and optimal under certain conditions for the heuristic function. So, based on the heuristic value, uh, it depends, right, whether it is optimal or not. While A star search is similar to uniform cost search, we have discussed uh, in the previous uh, slides, it uses the sum of G and H values instead of just G. So, uniform cost search uses the value of G, right, the G of N, that's cumulative cost, but here uh, we use sum of G and H values, right. So, I hope you understand this particular uh, concept of A star first search, that is concept of A star search algorithm, okay. Okay, now let us consider the example of maze that what we have discussed in the previous lecture. So, this is the example of uh, maze, right? This is what we have discussed in the previous lectures. Previous lecture, that is greedy based first search. So, if you see in this particular example, right, I can go like this, like this, like this, like this, right? According to a greedy based first search because it will only consider the heuristic cost, right? So, this represent the Manhattan distance from node A to node B, right? So, based on the ready base first search, what we observe, like, it will follow this particular path, right? But this path is optimal path, right, from A to B. But according to heuristic value, this path will follow the ready base first search. Because we have selected Manhattan distance here as a heuristic value, right? That is uh, from A to B, right? But this will be optimal value, right? This will be optimal solution, not this. Now, in order to overcome such issue, we have A star search, right? A star search algorithm. Now, same example we will take. But the only thing is that in this case, we have to consider G of N value also, right? In the previous case, we just consider the value of Manhattan distance. That is only 16, only 15, only 14. But in this case, we have to consider G of N value. It is cumulative cost. I reach first step, I reach second step, I reach third step. And from third step to uh, this particular H of N value, I need to do summation. And based on the F of N value, I need to uh, take my further steps. Right. So, we will discuss this now. So, first I will start from this particular uh, node A. So, I reach in the first step. So, I have taken the first step. Plus 16 is the cost. Right. It is H of N. Now, I have written, now this is my second step, but the 15 is the cost of H of N. So, that is G of N plus H of N here. Same 3 plus 14, uh, that is 17. 4 plus 13, that is 17. And here 5 plus 12, that is also 17. Now, here comes the decision point, right? So, I have started from A at a cumulative cost at the steps of 5. But from this particular point, if we consider Manhattan distance like this, so it will be around 12 steps, right? Now, which point we will consider? Either should we go up or left side? Now, it is based on the f of n value, right? It is f of n, that is g of n plus h of n. Okay. Now, I already uh, took the 5 step and from here, uh, 12 is a distance, right? Now, if I go from this particular uh, path, it will, took, it will take 6 plus 11, that is 17. And here, if I go by this particular path, it will take 6 plus 13, that is 19, right? But 
so which one is lowest 17 is the lowest right so i will follow this particular path right 17 yes and 6 plus 10 like 7 plus 10 17 8 plus 9 17 9 plus 8 17 10 plus 7 17 11 plus 6 uh, 6 17 12 plus 7 17 13 plus 4 17 17 now in this case you can see 14 13 plus 4 17 now 14 plus 5 it will be 19 and here what's the value 5 plus uh, 6 plus 13 that is also 19 now if i go by next step that is 6 all right so that is next step will be my 15 step and 15 plus 6 that will be my 21 and here it is 19 so which one is the lowest this one is the lowest right now what a star search will do it will leave this particular current path because he because he has found a new way to reach a particular node at a at lowest cost right he will leave this particular path and he, he because he found a new path which will take a less time to reach this particular goal right so what happens now we'll follow this particular path because the heuristic function sorry because the f of n value is lower of this particular node than this particular node here it is 21 15 plus 6 21 here it is 19 right now we have 21 value here now let us uh, see right now in this case what happens 7 plus 4 now 6 plus uh, 13 that is 19 here now 7 plus 14 7 plus 14 will be it is 21 and here also 21 like we can take any of the path okay so let us consider this path it is 21 right now we'll follow take this path 21 okay now 8 plus 13 is basically 21 and here 16 plus 17 is basically a 23 okay now my next step will be 16 and here it is 7 right unit so 16 plus 17 will be 23 and here will be 21 now if i keep continuing this uh 21 21 21 21 21 only right so 21 21 21 21 21 and finally i reach my goal at the cost of 21 only right so this is how a star search algorithm will work right same goes for greedy based first search algorithm also during searching if it found that another path exists which will take less time or less unit then it will follow that particular path it will leave this particular path right so this is uh, what uh, we will get right so this is how a star search algorithm will work so only difference is that f of n is basically a g of n plus h of n we have discussed two examples one with the help of graph and this example will be uh, much clearer to you right and in the case of greedy only h of n will value will be considered right so that's it from this particular lecture i hope you understand the concept uh, thank you